Hello everybody, it's me Smilo, and I am here with my friends Wooly, Morgan, Smila, Smilus, Dyrus, Gray, and Perel. You might notice that we're all Ice Age animals, and today we want to show you our Field Notes journal slash photo album. You can see it right here. This is our little journal right here from the, the La Brea Tar Pits. And then you can see that right here it says Field Notes. And then right here you see a picture of a Smilodon Fatalis. And then you see some little note cards with paperclip right there. And yeah, it says right here that this field journal belongs to Smilo and his friends. So it belongs to not just me, but to all our friends right here. And we got him from the La Brea Tar Pits, this book right here. So yeah, you can see it's kind of designed like a journal right here. Yeah, that's what we want to talk to you about today. We're going to show you our pictures of our prehistoric adventures in this field journal right here for, that we got from the La Brea Tar Pits. And an interesting fact about the Tar Pits is that over a course of a century, more than 3.5 million specimens have been recovered from the La Brea Tar Pits, which represent nearly 650 different species of plants and animals. So yeah, the La Brea Tar Pits is a fossil gold mine. A lot of incredible finds in the Tar Pits. So why don't we go ahead and show you our journal right here. Let's open it up to the first page. So right here, you can see the first page. Right here, you can see some notes right there. Feel free to pause the video whenever you want if you want to read. And then here's a picture of one of the fossil excavation sites right there. And then this right here is kind of like our table of contents where we have all our notes and what's on each page. And then right here we have a picture of bacteria bubbles from the tar pits. So feel free to pause the video to read whenever you want. And then right here we have a chart of most of the animals that have been found at the tar pits, one of the most iconic animals. So yeah, we got American lion, saber-toothed cat, puma, cougar mountain lion, whatever you want to call it, lynx, dire wolves, coyotes, foxes, weasels, short-faced bears, badgers, skunks, antelope, bison, camels, horses, ground sloths, mastodons, and mammoths. So yeah, a lot of animals have been found at the Libra Tar Pits, so that's the first page right here. And then right here is our first picture, totally trapped. Would you have anywhere to go if you were coming in face to face with the massive American lion? So yeah, you could see me and Wooly right there at an exhibit with the American lion. And this picture was not taken at the La Brea Tar Pits, it was actually taken at the Phoenix, Arizona Museum of Natural History. So yeah, this picture may not be from the Tar Pits, but the the fossil right there, the specimen right there, the the original casts were taken from the original specimens at the La Brea Tar Pits, so the American line was still a part of the La Brea Tar Pits. So yeah, this is our first picture of me and Wooly with that American lion right there, which happens to be one of the largest felines that have ever existed. Yeah, it was a pretty big cat. So yeah, the exhibits in these photos are a lot bigger than they appear. So let's move on to the next page, right here. The next page is a Colombian mammoth, and then you can see me and Wooly right there, a mammoth find. So there's a Colombian mammoth, and again this one was also at the Arizona Museum of Natural History in Phoenix, but the mammoth itself, the fossils were from the La Brea Tar Pits, right here. So you see me and Wooly and the Colombian mammoth. And the Colombian mammoth was not the biggest species of elephant to ever exist, but it was one of the biggest. And it was definitely one of the biggest animals to set foot in America. One of the biggest mammals. So let's come over here. You see a picture of a mammoth right there. Oh, and you want to make your own asphalt? Here are the instructions right here. If you want to create your own tar pits. So just be sure to avoid trapping any unsuspecting animals. And then some more information right here about the Colombian mammoth. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like. And then gigantic mammoth tooth, also known as a tusk, right there. There's a picture of a mammoth tusk. And right here is a picture of the mammoth at the La Brea Tar Pits. Yeah, he had big, curved, twisted tusks. One of the biggest mammoths that we've ever seen. Yeah, feel free to read that information right there. And then right here... This is how dangerous the tar pits were. You just stepped in tar pits. Can you move? Nope, you're dead. But can you, if you were if you were able to move, that would be a yes. But then you're struggling 
would attract predators, so you're dead. And then if you just stepped in tar pits, is someone around to help you? Yes, there are, but now you're both stuck, so you're both dead. So yeah, you get trapped in the tar pits, or no one gets out of that. And to think that the tar pits were dangerous enough to trap animals as big and strong as a mammoth. So yeah, the tar pits were a very dangerous death trap. Okay, let's come over here. Oh, and then this is a little board game right here. If you want to see how to play it, here are the instructions right here. Feel free to pause the video. So those are the instructions right there. And then you just want to read some of this information right there. Caught in a trap. So yeah, you just want to read that information right there. And then here's a picture of a fang of a saber-toothed cat. And then there's a picture of the Libra tar pits with the mammoths trapped in the tar pit. Yeah, this is a little board game. Why don't we bring this over here and flip this page over right here. So yeah, you can see that this is a little board game right here. And then here are the little characters that you can use to play the game. A rabbit, a bobcat, a coyote, and a skunk. So yeah, you guys just want me to scroll down. Feel free to pause the video to read any of this if you'd like. So yeah, you see a little mammoth right there, there's a starting line, there's a ground sloth. Come right here, see a Teratornis right there, and then a Smilodon. Then come right here, there's a finish line right there. So just feel free to pause the video if you want to read any of this. So yeah, this is just a fun little board game, we played it before, it's pretty fun. So, a little board game inside this little journal of ours. Pretty cool, isn't it? And then why don't we flip the page over right here. And then you see meat right here. How many carnivores are in this picture? Forgive us if we miscounted, but we counted about eight carnivores in this picture. So yeah, we see saber-toothed cats, dire wolves, and then you see a little coyote right there. And then we see American lions hunting the bison. And then you see a giant short-faced bear right there. And then we see a giant condor right there. And then we see, we think these are golden eagles up there. And then we even see a little rattlesnake right there, so that was carnivorous. So you can see that mostly carnivores were trapped in the tar pits. There are more carnivores than herbivores found in the tar pits. See the mammoths back there? And if you want to read this right here, feel free to read that right there. And then you see this little picture of a dire wolf trapped in the tar pits, and then there's a dead giant ground sloth. And then here's one of my favorite pictures right here. A picture of me and Smila underneath the saber-toothed cat right there. So yeah, this one was actually taken at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. But that saber-tooth right there was still from the La Brea tar pits. Top three predators, dire wolves, saber-toothed cats, and coyotes. And feel free to read this right here, nine-inch teeth. Yeah, and to think that the longest of these saber teeth could grow to be nearly a foot long, which is probably almost as long as a T-Rex tooth. So feel free to read that right there. So yeah, this is a picture of me and Smila underneath the saber-toothed cat, Smilodon fatalis, the California saber-tooth, Smilodon californicus. Yeah, you see that cloudy background with the giant condors flying above him? See the green on the mountains? Yeah, this one was a pretty cool picture right here. So yeah, one of our favorite saber tooth cat exhibits. And then let's flip the page over right here. And now we got dire wolves. So yeah, we see dire wolves right here. Like modern wolves on steroids. Yeah, just like the saber tooth cat, which was stronger than a lion, the Dire wolves are bigger and stronger than modern day gray wolves. But yeah, you see the picture of me and gray right there in the dire straits. And you see these dire wolves walking down the mountain. See the Ice Age background and you see that wolf right there. Yeah, these guys are walking down the green mountains. See all that greenery around them? So yeah, we got very, very close to these dire wolves. Pretty big top dogs of the Ice Age. And then right here, 
some information about the dire wolf right there if you want to pause the video so you can read all that right there and then right here what's for dinner yep dire wolves were not fuzzy when it came to food very savage predators and then here's a picture of a dire wolf skull right there and then right here if you want to read more of this information right there feel free to pause the video and then how many dire wolf skulls are displayed in this exhibit we actually counted, and forgive us if we miscounted, but we counted several times and we counted up to 404 direwolf skulls. So yeah, that's a lot of direwolf skulls. We counted 404 just on this wall right here. The wall of direwolf skulls. And right here, you can see that a direwolf skull was almost as big as a human skull, or maybe even bigger. So yeah, these dogs were big. One of the largest dogs that have ever existed. So yeah, that's our dire wolf page right here. Okay, why don't we go ahead and flip this over right here. And then we have like a little um, excavation site right here. Specimen A, B, C, and D. So right here, X marks a spot of some of the fossils that are found at the La Brea Tar Pits. So let's see what's in specimen A. X marks a spot. We found the scapula of a Smilodon. So that's the shoulder blade of a saber-toothed cat. So there's a shoulder blade of a saber-toothed cat right there. So that's what's in specimen A. Specimen B, the western horse radius. So that's a leg bone of a western horse. So yeah, back when horses lived in America. So that's the leg bone. Specimen C, well, let's see what we got here. Shoulder blade of a dire wolf. Dire wolf scapula. So here's the shoulder blade of a dire wolf right there. And then specimen D. Let's see what we got here. The pelvis of a giant ground sloth. So that's the pelvis right there. Of a giant ground sloth. Pretty big sloth size of a bear. So yeah, this is the fossil site right here in our notebook right here. And then right here, get stuck in excavation process. So here's a process that every scientist has to go through when they're excavating from the La Brea Tar Pits. All the tools that they need. So yeah, there's a lot more than to these fossil sites than just digging up bones. Clues that have been left behind by prehistoric animals. So feel free to pause the video if you'd like so you can read all this. I hope you guys can read it all right here. And then here are some pictures right here of scientists digging through the tar pits, excavating ancient fossils. So yeah, excavating from the tar pits. Imagine working there at the Librea Tar Pits. You get to excavate the ancient remains of prehistoric animals. And then we're here at the final page of our journal slash photo album, our little notebook. Feel free to pause the video to read the information right there. And then here is the picture of me and Wooly underneath the skeleton of an American Mastodon, which was a prehistoric elephant. Yeah, recreate history. So there's the Mastodon, and this one was also at the Arizona Museum of Natural History in Phoenix. So you see me and Wooly right there, and then you see the American Mastodon. Yeah, slightly shorter than a mammoth, but it was still a pretty big beast. Yep, American Mastodon. And you see right here, there were no large dinosaurs in the tar pit, so there were no dinosaurs. And dinosaurs are pretty cool. We like dinosaurs, but unfortunately, there were no dinosaurs found at the tar pits. And then with this also comes with a little folder right here where you can hold all your stuff right here. And why don't we go ahead and take all this out so we can show it to you. Right here. So let's put these aside. And first thing we want to show you is the discovery guide of the La Brea Tar Pits, that we got these from the Tar Pits, right here. So why don't we go ahead and open it up right here. So this right here is a map of the park of the La Brea Tar Pits. The park is free, but it costs money to get into the museum. So here's one of the entrances right here. That's where they have that golden saber tooth statue. And then right here, you probably recognize these mammoths. The mammoth trapped in the Tar Pits and then an adult in the baby on solid ground. 
the uh, sorry, that mammoth's not getting out of the tar pits anytime soon. And then right here is a museum entrance, and on this side is the American lions, and on the other side is the fighting saber-toothed cats. And here's the lake pit of tar pits. There's the mastodon right there. And then right here you see the short-faced bear statue. On the right here is the parking lot. So there's a short-faced bear. And then there's a giant ground slots. And then they even have a few actual remaining samples of the tar pits. Where the tar pit is actually still seeping from the ground below. So yeah, they got a pretty cool park. And what I like about this park is that it's designed to look like it did 10,000 years ago during the Ice Age. So yeah, this is a pretty cool park. So why don't we go ahead and flip it over. Let's see. Oh, you want to read the back right here. Feel free to read this right here. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read. So yeah, this is information about the tar pits. Okay, and then let's see. Let's open it up to right here. Here's a view of the inside of the museum. So there's a museum entrance, a gift shop, photo experience. So there you have the bison and the ground sloth right there. And right here they have a mastodon and a camel. And then on the side of the wall they have saber toothed cats. Ground sloth right there, mammoths, the Colombian mammoth, and then the woolly mammoth animatronic. And then I got dire wolves right here. There's a wall of dire wolves. Saber toothed cat and what we think is either a lion or a jaguar. Don't really know. Fossil lab. And then there's a saber tooth hunting a ground sloth animatronic. Then there's a skeleton of short faced bear and a prehistoric horse. And another saber tooth exhibit. 3D theater. Coyote exhibit. So, yeah, this is a map of the inside of the museum. And then the La Brea Tar Pits Museum. All the activities that they have. So, yeah, feel free to pause the video if you want to read all this right here. And then right here. We got more information, the Fossil Lab, Titans of the Ice Age, Ice Age Encounters. Yeah, we got to watch these and they were incredible. So feel free to pause the video if you want to read anything right here. La Brea Tar Pit. So yeah, this is the Discovery Guide and before I put it away, if you want to read some of this right here. That, that was awesome. What's next? Oh, you're about to see. Look, there's a camel right there. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like. While we put this back in the folder right here. And then we even got some... We got this. This is actually a postcard and you see a 3D saber tooth right here. Yeah, he looks like a tiger mixed with a leopard, kind of orangey. Really stands out in that really nice snowy background. Flip it around. This is information that we added in ourselves. So feel free to pause the video to read that. And we got a picture of the size comparison right there. And then we drew that right there, a saber tooth right there, a skull. So that's the saber tooth right here. And then here's the mammoth. See two mammoths fighting in the snow. So yeah, you see the trees in the background. Mammoth fight right here. And then right here, we also included information about the mammoth. Feel free to pause the video to read. There's a mammoth size comparison. And then we also drew that ourselves, mammoth skull. Right here. And here's a picture of the survivors of the Ice Age. See all those animals right there? Mammoths, ground sloths, saber-toothed cats, mastodons. So all those were around 10,000 years ago, but these are the ones who survived. So yeah, you see a very dramatic difference right there. And then right here, we also got this from the Labrea Tar Pits. All the information is explained right here. Feel free to pause the video. See the silhouette of a mammoth and a saber-tooth. So yeah, these are all the activities that they have here at, at the La Brea Tar Pits. And then this was also a souvenir that we got from the La Brea Tar Pits, the photos that we got online. So yeah, the, a lot of interesting stuff that we have here, right? So yeah, why don't we go ahead and put all this back in our notebook right here. And then and that's pretty much it. That's everything we have in this little journal right here. La Brea Tar Pits. So that's our field journal right there. And then why don't we show you these right here. I don't know if you guys can see them. See that's a coin that we got from the La Brea Tar Pits. A souvenir coin. The little saber tooth on it. 
La Brea Tar Pits and Museum, so that's one of them. And then this one didn't come from the tar pits, but a mammoth is still from the tar pits, and it, there's a little mammoth right there. So that's a Colombian mammoth from the Arizona Museum of Natural History. Two little souvenir pennies right there. So yeah, folks, we just wanted to show you our, our field notes journal slash photo album of the La Brea Tar Pits. So yeah, we got to go there, and it was pretty cool, but... Unfortunately, we didn't make any videos because we went there long before we created this channel. So we just thought we'd show you our souvenirs from the tar pits. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We definitely recommend that you go to the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California. Pretty cool, pretty awesome experience. So that's it for now, folks. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, content, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys later.